We're not hiring the nicest people. This is not about hiring the nicest people. It's about hiring the best people. Let's keep it a stack, guys. Let's keep it a stack. Let's stop being Disney Plus. Let's stop being sappy and let's just be real. And let's keep the brutal truth. This is acting. It's not about being the nice guy, being the lovely guy, being great with fans and so forth. No, these are still the arts. This is about getting the best artists and creators so forth to make the best possible work. Henry Cavill is a crap actor. He is a plank of wood. Okay, so don't try and say that the reason why his Superman did not work was because of bad films and everything. Because here's the thing. Man of Steel was not a good film. Man of Steel was not a good film. And I think Snyder and his crap, David Goya, they did everything bad. A better actor. A better actor in that role. Even in a bad film, you'd be like, you know what? As bad as this film is, this guy did something. You know, he acted something. Henry Cavill, I'm sorry, he has no charisma. All that he has is that he just looks like the guy from the comics. And that's it. Case in point, Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve is Juliet trained. Christopher Reeve went to the same acting school as Robin Williams. He is a damn good actor. And do you know what the thing is? Christopher Reeve gave you a take. What Christopher Reeve did was not in the comics. Superman in the comics is boring. He is freaking like watching pins dry. But Christopher Reeve actually gave him some depth and actually a bit of 3D, 4-dimensional char characteristics. What Henry Cavill is doing is just reiterating the plank of wood in the comics. You know, so... I it is it's it, it was the right decision for for J. James Gunn just to get rid of that dude, clean blank set because because the issue is, is people forget the stuff. Who was at the helm of, of all this crap? Who hired Henry Cavill? Who got Ben Affleck? Who got Gal Gadot that can't even freaking act? Zack Snyder. Who in their right mind allows Zack Snyder to helm anything creative? The guy is trash. He is complete and utter garbage trash. So that was the biggest mistake that they made. Now, I... Superman is too important. Like, that's... You can have your Batmans, your Green Lanterns, your Wonder Womans, and so forth. Your Aquamans. You have to have... Superman, he is the totem pole. He is the foundation of what makes DC, DC. And I think that's... It is very important that you that you get this right. And Superman is very tricky. And do you know what the crazy thing is? Do you know what the, it's just so crazy the fates? Do you know who we we have actually had Superman? We've actually had a really strong Superman for the past few years. I say, wait, careful. Wait, what are you on the bar? We, we've had a Superman, Captain America. <laughs> so MCU's Captain America, that Superman, and that has actually been the Superman of like the comic book movie world for the past few years and everything. So. Superman is very tricky. He's very tricky. And I think that's what you need to do because I think, look, the source material is good and it's crap. It's good because it's a great origin story and you can play around with where he comes from, all fun, cryptonite, and all that kind of stuff. But the character itself is garbage. The character itself is crap. Hence why Christopher Reeve had to do so much to actually put some color and some depth into the character. So for James Gunn, he said he wants to now do like a young... Superman, I'm like, I don't know about that. That seems a little bit tricky. And also, by the way, please, I don't want a black Superman. Please, give me a proper Blade film or give me a proper Spawn film. I don't need a black Superman. Please, don't, don't, don't give me that crap. But figure out Superman. Figure out what you want to do with Superman. I think maybe on another video, I can think of what you can do is try and maybe do a Superman where you've got to maybe go a bit more intergalactic because doing the whole air thing doesn't work. And... But beyond that, you've got to pick a good actor. This is where you now cannot mess up. You have to pick a really good, strong actor. Like someone that someone that has a take on the character. Not just a plank of wood. Not, not just a face. Someone that actually has a take on the character. But guys, let's please, please hear me. Hear me now and hear me well. He's a nice guy. Lovely guy with the fans. All because he's nice with the fans. And all because he cares about the character. Doesn't mean he's right for the role. We are about hiring the best people for the job who can do the best acting job. Not the, we're not hiring the nicest people. This is not about hiring the nicest people. It's about hiring the best people.
So I'm sorry if I'm recovering my nice guy and so forth. You're not a great actor. And your performance as Superman was garbage. You were a garbage, boring, forgettable Superman. I'm sorry, I know it's odd to you. He was a garbage, boring, forgettable Superman. And James Gunn made the right decision in letting him go. It is what it is. Life is harsh. It is what it is. He'll be fine. He ain't going to be starving on the freaking streets and so forth. So move on. And right now for James Gunn, hire a natural quality actor for the role. One love.